Meanwhile, truck drivers and cab operators across the country have been protesting against the provisions covering hit-and-run cases in Bharatiya Nyay Sahita that is set to replace the uh, old Indian Penal Code. Under the new law, hit-and-run cases can attract up to 10 years in jail term and a fine of 7 lakh rupees if the driver flees the accident spot and does not inform the police. Now, amid the protest, uh, the All India Motor Transport Congress held a meeting today. There was... Uh, there has been panic, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in buying fuel since the protest started. And after all, uh, this, uh, the protest, in fact, gaining momentum, the Chandigarh administration has regulated fuel sale in uh, the city. The administration has limited sale for passenger vehicles. For two wheelers, it is uh, limited to two litres or a maximum of uh, the value of rupees 200. And uh, five litres are a maximum of the value of uh, 500 for the cars daily. Meanwhile, Home Secretary will hold a meeting with the All India Motor Transport Congress uh, this evening to try and find out a solution. Amit Shah ji ne jo ye kanun pass kiya hai, isse hamare driver log bahut naraaz hain aur hum bhi inka virod karte hain. Ek crore gaadiyan hain, koi na koi gaadi accident ho jaati hai. Agar hamara driver वहां रुकता है तो उस ड्राइवर को पब्लिक मार के और खत्म कर देती है तो उसको मजबूरी में भागना पड़ता है जो ला अमित शाह जी ने पास किया है कि 10 साल की सजा और यह बहुत ज्यादा है तो हमारी यही सरकार से रिक्वेस्ट है कि यह काला कानून वापस ले ले Joining me at this moment, uh, my colleague Mohammad Ghazali and uh, Ronak, in fact, uh, reporting from Chandigarh and also uh, from uh, Maharashtra, where there was uh, some violent protest uh, today in the e uh, morning. Uh, Sunil Prabhu, my senior colleague, is also joining us. He's uh, covering this meeting, uh, which is going to take place uh, in just a short while from now. Uh, uh, Ronak, coming to you uh, first, very quickly, there was uh, some violence. Kuch hinsa bhi subeh hui thi, kuch ilako mein Nagpur aur baaki jayo mein. Abhi kya halat hai? और कितना असर देखने को मिल रहा है जी देखिए अंकित अगर मुंबई की बात की जाए तो मुंबई पे फिलहाल उतना असर देखने को नहीं मिल रहा लेकिन महाराष्ट्र के जो दूसरे इलाके हैं खासतौर से नागपुर से जो अभी सा खबर सामने निकल कर आ रही है लगभग आधे से ज़्यादा ऐसे पेट्रोल पंप से जहाँ पर स्टॉक खत्म होने का बोर्ड जो है वो वहाँ पर लग चुका है तो कल किस तरह की स्थिति वहाँ पर रहेगी वो कल निश्चित तौर पर देखने को मिलेगी लेकिन महाराष्ट्र के तमाम अलग अलग इलाकों से इसी तरह की खबरें सामने निकल कर आ रही क्योंकि ड्राइवर हड़ताल पर होने की वजह से जो पेट्रोल और डीजल की गाड़ियां जो रोजाना पेट्रोल पंप्स पर जाकर अपना स्टॉक जो है वो भरा करती थी वो अब नहीं पहुंचने की वजह से कई शहरों में इसकी बड़ी किल्लत जो है वो देखने को मिल रही है आ, दूसरी आ, जो सबसे बड़ा असर देखने को मिल रहा है वो ये है कि जो सब्जी मंडियां थी वहां पर भी ड्राइवर्स अवेलेबल ना होने की वजह से किसानों का माल मंडियों तक नहीं पहुँच पाया ऐसे में एक चिंता व्यक्त की जा रही है कि सब्जियों के दाम भी जो है वो इसकी वजह से बेताशा इसमें बढ़ोतरी देखने को मिल सकती है तो निश्चित तौर पर सभी की निगाहें टिकी हुई कि देर शाम को जो गृह मंत्रालय में मीटिंग होने जा रही है क्या उसमें कोई रास्ता निकल पाता है नहीं नहीं तो यह स्थिति जो है वो और बदतर हो सकती है जी राइट स्टे ऑन विद मी रौनक मोहम्मद गजाली इन चंडीगढ़ स्पेसिफिकली ना देर आर फियर्स एंड ऑफ कोर्स पीपल uh, at this moment uh, can feel that kind of palpitations not only is it uh, just the rationing of the uh, fuel uh, in chandigarh but also the prices of uh, certain commodities going up oh yes and not just in chandigarh uh, though the chandigarh administration has come up with this uh, idea of regulating the sale of fuel to individual customers but the situation is almost the same in the tri city right now i'm here in panchkula you can see in my background this is the fuel station where i was reporting uh, uh, in the afternoon just a couple of hours ago like around 3 or 4 pm and now they have just turned off the lights to show that they are they have run out of stock and the same situation is in in, in mohali which is in punjab the sister city or the twin city from here and in chandigarh so in the tri city the situation is like this uh, people are trying to get updates from news channels or or the social media to ascertain the fact that how long will this protest go and what is happening is that uh, why the situation is more dire here as compared to other states because uh, you have himachal and jammu kashmir here uh, the two states 
uh, or the, one of the union territories there, which are connected through highways. So all the essential supplies goes towards this national highway one, which connects Delhi with Jammu, with Punjab, with Himachal Pradesh. Now on the highway, there are many private operators who are protesting and they are not even allowing if somebody wants to move towards if any private uh, truck or lorry is trying to move or enter into the Chandigarh. So that's one obstacle. And people say that if this situation continues even for more than 24 hours from now onwards, it will start hitting the supply of essentials to uh, other states as well. Operators from Punjab and Haryana both are protesting. And, and, and the situation is almost grim in Himachal with 90% of the petrol pumps have having run out of the fuel. Right. Uh, so this is the impact and it's been the second day of this protest. Now let me take you to Sunil. Where uh, Sunil, uh, whatever Ghazali and uh, Rohan were telling us, uh, uh, Ronak were telling us at this moment, it will all boil down to this meeting which is going to take place between senior uh, you know, officers from the Ministry of Home Affairs and the, uh, the association, uh, uh, you know, which has gone to meet them. Uh, what is expected here? Is there a way out with what the government sources are telling you? Well, it's going to be extremely difficult to find a way out because what the uh, transport union is uh, saying and basically uh, something which uh, Mr. Amit Shah as well as the government should have really, uh, you know, had, a, uh, you know, some kind of thinking in this entire process is that before you pass these laws, you should have consulted the stakeholders. This is the exact grouse that they have. They feel that this is a draconian, this is the, what they call a black law, uh, which will affect the transport uh, uh, drivers in particular because, uh, you know, it's, it's a threat to their life as well as the fact that, if, you know, seven years and ten years and a huge penalty is something that will affect them. This is, of course, good uh, for road safety. It's good for, uh, you know, uh, pedestrians on the road because there have been a number of hit-and-run cases. They're citing... Uh, the Ministry of Home Affairs is citing the excuse uh, of uh, the Supreme Court observations, whether that's, a, you know, an order, uh, because there's so many observations that the Supreme Court has passed. Have they taken that into account in various other laws that they have done? Has there been any consultation with the uh, trade union, uh, 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 you know, the motor uh, transport uh, uh, unions? Hmm. Uh, now, uh, the uh, Home Secretary is doing that uh, consultation and trying to find a way forward in trying to, you know, assuage their feelings. But as you rightly pointed out, uh, if the reports from Nagpur, if the reports from Chandigarh, and we are getting reports from Gujarat, uh, elsewhere, uh, this is basically uh, a clear indicator that, uh, uh, you know, uh, you will have to take some quick decisions, right. even though these, uh, you know, this, uh, this has been notified, but it will take a long time uh, before it's implemented. Uh, but uh, definitely uh, the misgivings and mis okay. and the apprehensions of the others will have to be taken into account.